Welcome back, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing in round four of the Kill Pete Open Tournament 2. We're playing as the pink player out of the third position, really the second position if you don't count the zombies, because this is a zombies mode. And uh, definitely going to be a no bonus game. We got a four over here and a two. I'd like to group those up if possible, make my attack over this way, and then try to hold maybe one position in Europe, and then this Hawaii position. I don't know. Hawaii is actually kind of close to the Asian positions. I think I want to... I've been seeing a lot of people's practice games, and they've been a lot of uh, four-position games, from what I could tell. Um, I don't really have anything in South America. So, I don't know if I want to put something in Africa. I don't think I'm at risk of losing the Europe position. So I guess that makes me think, do I want to put something in Africa? I could I could even attack down into Australia, leave the four up there. And the Australia position could actually be my... Um, we got five to start. Wow, okay, so actually quite a few troops to start. Um, I could screw orange out of a troop. I don't really want to do that. Um... I don't know. There, there's a four here in Africa. South America positions is almost certainly lost. So uh, let's let's create this European position. I'm going to go two here. And then uh, so we got four, four. We're going to attack down. We'll have a six or five down here unless we lose a troop. And then I'll keep this over here. Uh, so Europe, we're not going to have an African position. We're going to have a Europe position, this Hawaii position the Asian position and then an Australian position. I think that gives me enough uh, ability to move around and I'll sit on this portal even um, and fortify up this way. The fortify struggle a little bit, but we're good. We got we got our attack in. Yeah, so I, I've seen a lot of people hold three to four positions. I think anything less than that, it, it, it puts you at too much risk of being killed. Um, because the, when you hit through the zombies, you do tend to lose a few troops, so you got to account for that, and, and uh, spreading myself out I don't think is a bad idea. So I don't have any floating twos. Everything that I plan on playing with is a four stack as it stands right now, so we should be able to play off that pretty effectively. Black is... Okay, Black's going to move into Asia... See, this is interesting, though, depending on the zombies' attacks, because zombies will attack you. Yeah, he, okay, he does pull that one in. I was like, uh, he'll leave the fours over here, group those up in the next turn. So Black plans on, as far as I can tell, playing a three-position game uh, with only one central position. I think multiple central positions can be effective, and maybe three-position is the right play. I go back and forth on those. Um, Orange might lose a two up here. I would have gone for a, a heavier left side of the board position here these twos could get lost and then you're just playing with two right side positions in a central position with nothing on the left i wanted to keep that hawaii position just so i'd have access to south america if i needed it the australian position if i fortify this down we'll have access to africa so we'll have some some areas to work from um the players in our game let's get through them quickly the undead is our first player that's the the green player is the obviously the, the zombie bot the red player getting through them quick cuoco in cucina a master level player. We have myself, C Money, Grandmaster level player, playing as pink in this uh, second human position. The black player, Roma the Weird, is a Grandmaster level player in the third human position. Orange player, uh, Boral Nutye, is playing as a master in the fourth human position. And then finally, the white player, Dr. Smith, is a master level player in the final position. Zombies are attacking, and our settings for the game, I'll show them very quickly here. We do lose a territory. We're gonna see. This is why you need to make sure that you get everything grouped up in the first turn because there's a good chance we get. Yeah, we've already been knocked below 15. Uh, we very well might get knocked below 12 if we're not careful here, depending on where the zombies end up attacking. Um, this will attack me twice. So that seven there, I'm not liking the looks of that because that's close to potentially rolling my material. The zombies will keep running the board, by the way, until they don't have any more attacks, or the time runs out, typically, so this first turn is, is dangerous. But take a quick pause here if you want to look at the, at the settings any further. 
I'm just going to read them off of the sheet that I have on the side, which is... Oh, a little bit of a voice crack there. <laughs> uh, the settings for our game... Oh, that's going to hit me over here. Yeah. Oh! He just had his four smoked. I knew he should have grouped those up, man. That is wild. What did it just attack? It attacked a seven on four. Yeah, so eight total on the stack. Oh, man, that's tough for black. I get... So orange and, and white don't take too big a hits from that for some reason. I took big hits, so I'm going to only get three troops on this next turn. So both me and black not in a great spot. I think I want to try to... If I have a area to hit white, I think I want to take a card off white just to, to set him back a little bit. Orange is probably going to be fine, which is unfortunate. He'll get an extra an extra troop on his turn. Obviously, red just got his extra troop. So, took a little bit of a beating from the bots there. Um, my Hawaii position looks fine. I could hit white out of Hawaii and, and move down this way. I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, red's sitting next to me here. Then we'll drop a troop here. I might... Okay, the bot did spread out here, so it's probably not going to hit me. I'm sitting on a portal here. Um... I might try to get this four down into into here, but I think for now that one should be fine. I'll leave this here. I'm going to hit here. And I'm going to sit on these portals for now so people don't try to group up their troops through me. And then next turn, fortify down to stronger positioning. Black is the only one in South America, and that actually might work to his benefit at this point. Um, but losing that four that he had down there is tough. Uh, Africa is going to be whites, uh, probably only white, and there's a lot of us in Europe. So I think, assuming the bon uh, zombies come north here, I think I almost want to peel out of where people are to make myself more difficult to kill. Because red, I mean, red has a lot of lines on me right now. Um... This essentially plays out like a progressive cards game. So it's Earth 2209 AD, the zombies mode, blizzards and fog off, unstable portals, uh, auto placement uh, of uh, uh, auto setup, 60 second turn or 90 second turn timer, sorry, expert level AI, progressive cards, balance splits dice, no alliances, automated AI behavior. And, uh, and if we're within uh, 20 points of 150th place, we will qualify for the next round. So last place finish, not ideal here. I believe... The rules, as well as you just, if you win, uh, take out all human players, um, you, I believe if you take out all humans players, you only have to survive three turns. So I'm not sure how the placements work in zombies, like, if you place behind the zombies, I guess you only get the two points. Um, so... I can't remember exactly. What got hit of mine? Anything? Black hit me in Western Australia. Okay. Zombies take me out of Africa. Uh, which was expected. Takes white here. I'd probably attack up onto this portal. Zombies getting kind of close to us here. This four is reasonably protected right now. Interesting. Did White created it? I don't think he had much here before. He must have only had a two. He created a position there for himself. I could create a position in Africa for myself, maybe. Knock Orange out of here. Because the problem with these floating ones... And Orange still isn't getting hit by the zombies. I don't know why... This guy's luck, man. What is going on? Orange is being spared by the zombies... In Africa, he should be at 12 troops. Everybody's below, but he's going to keep getting an extra troop. Red hits me. That might be a play to try to spread over west. Because, again, Red's still playing only on one side of the board. Or top right, kind of. Top and right. Not really left or bottom. Which, I guess I'm not really playing left or bottom either. But I can start moving that way. Um, 
I'm not going to try to hit orange. I don't get much out of that. Uh, place my troop here. I don't think I need to add to that one right now. I want to have better... I want to have a better line for Africa. And then... I already have Australia. I'm going to move this out this way so that I commit further to South America slash Australia. Or, or uh, North America. I wanted to have better better placement in here because this is this is actually super dangerous for for white actually both of these guys over here look at how many zombie troops are around their stacks if they don't fortify these stacks well enough there's a chance they could lose them so white doesn't have positioning in the bottom right nobody really has positioning except for white in africa uh, black in south america but white and i are both pretty close to that Remember, zombies will attack you if they have double your troop count. So if this, if zombies tried to place a bunch here on this four, black hits red out of the center. I don't hate that play. Orange gets an additional troop again, which that's back-to-back -back turns where them. I mean, red got an additional troop on the previous turn. It's a back-to-back -back turn where they're getting an additional troop, which is it could be an underrated thing. It could help them stay alive. Um, they're going to group this two up into their four, which I think is smart or maybe vice versa, but he does have two positions very close to each other here. Doesn't group that up. I don't, there's no point in not doing a fortify there. He wants to keep the extra territory. That's why he's doing that. I don't think it's going to work for him. Um, interest 91. Holy cow. Um, That might attack through a portal as well. Alright, orange room gets that removed. It's nine on six down here is dangerous. That is not gonna roll me. That actually could roll his four. He's gotta be that nine on four, that might roll that. White could lose that position. Orange loses that. Orange is, is getting hit quite a bit now. Attacks through the portal. Who'd that just hit? That hit orange as well. All right, Orange is down below. He's joined the rest of us. Tries to hit Red. Three hits Orange as well. That'll hit Red. That hits me. Nine on four. Doesn't roll the nine on four. It could roll. In, it could roll a three though. Six on three. Oh! Orange is taking a beating. This guy's got to be careful of the stacks they're roaming around with. I, I need to remove that orange position from from North America. I'm being a little skeevy with, with my removals here, but I think it's the right play. This five here, my five next to this stuff, that's not in a good spot. Um, and, and the more these guys place here, the more it's going to stack up on us. I'm probably going to take Red's... Do I take Red's spot? Or do I just... Oh, you don't don't split there. Oh, is he going to try to bait it? Yeah, he might try to bait it. This one should be fine. I don't want him to have any positioning over there. Um... I'll sit next to I'll sit next to white still. I think I'll be okay there. But yeah, we I don't want to give I don't want to give him any positioning here. Now there's a chance. Yeah, he puts all three here. I think that's a, the right play. He's gonna roll to four. I don't think that's the right play. Rolls into yeah, rolls onto the portal. I agree with rolling onto the portal there. I have a set, um, but obviously very early for the sets. Not profitable. I hope Orange doesn't think I'm being a jerk, but I, I, I gotta look at the the entire scope of the game, and and if I can claim this or at least have only red and, and white and myself over here, I'm gonna take it. I, I need to make him work for a kill if he's gonna try to have lines on me. I can't just leave a one there because the chance is like if I leave the one there, he can put troops on it, and I don't want to risk him putting troops on it. Now I wonder if he's learned his lesson here. This you put this four on the two. You, you've got a route off in, in Korea here. 
I wouldn't have gone that way. That's just gonna that's gonna that's gonna force the zombies to put more here on this five, and then you're at risk where you might get another stack rolled. We've watched him get a stack roll. We've watched Black get a stack roll by the zombies already, and I don't know. I just don't know. I don't think I agree with that kind of risk there. I I mean even my six I thought was kind of at risk against this five here. This this six is at risk against this five because it's gonna put troops here. But I, I didn't want to attack multiple times because I don't want to irritate people and think I'm targeting them. Interesting. It comes down this way. Now, once... once I, You just got to survive the first trade-in, I think, in terms of not losing any of your big stacks. I have, White has a lot of lines on me, except for this position down here, but he's getting a line on that. So White and I are going to be the two players, I think. And he's somehow holding five positions, which I think is going to be... It's going to make him a less effective attacker throughout the duration of this game. Um, Alright, it only stacks 6 is next to me. It does have a 10 next to his 9 here. Uh, that won't... I won't actually lose this territory. Red's going to lose this position up here. I thought that might happen. Um, yeah, Red's going to completely lose that position. White might lose this. So no, nobody's getting stack rolled this game. White's got to be careful of his three here. I lose this, and I'm... Am I the only... Or no, we, we obviously have our junk down in the bottom right, but otherwise I, I do seem to be one of the only players with a uh, with a surviving one on another part of the board. <laughs> oh, boy. Red, red trades in early. I don't agree with the early trade in here. I mean, maybe you think you're going to be the first to trade anyway. I don't think I need to trade in. Maybe I die to white because of it, but I don't. That would only be if everybody else traded in. Oh, yeah, you got to get this six out of here. That's not. Yeah, get the six out of there. He's going to let the zombies in down here. I wonder. That might have been part of his strategy here. Um. Kind of have lines on me here. I want that middle position. I will also let the zombies in. Um, do I let them out up north and give white less position to move from? Let's try that. Let the zombies hit me here. He's going to hit the zombies in the middle. That could lose troops. Yeah, that loses too. That that stack's gone. I don't like that play. Uh, he's probably losing that position in the middle of the board. So Red must have just assumed he'd be the first to trade in anyway, so he just went for it. But... There's a very good chance that this six rolls rolls the foot stacks up here and rolls that. Um, I mean, maybe not. He might hold that position, but he didn't stack up anything on his nine. He stacked up in the center, or he put one down here. The rest of here, Black's in a tough spot, man. That losing those troops early, he has not been able to recover. White's just gonna either take it. Yeah, he's gonna take a hit on me. Interesting. He doesn't want to let the zombies up here. I did. I think he wants this to focus on black over there. I think white's got an intention of grouping these positions up. I've somehow managed to keep my four positions, and they're pretty spread out now. I've actually managed to move them around quite a bit. This coming in down here, that's dangerous. It doesn't roll. He gets lucky. Black got lucky that he didn't lose that there. Oh! <laughs> Black is so unlucky, man. Oh, no. I don't have a portal to... I don't have access to a portal to kill him. I should... I don't I don't have portal. I, I'd have to dump everything here and try to go through portals and kill him. Or just come down off this. I don't know if it's feasible. Like, how many troops would I lose going for his nine? That's the question. He might... 
I think he'll be fine. Because he sets it. I'm the only one who would have a chance at killing him, and I'm not I'm not positioned on a portal to do it, which maybe is a mistake on my part. Um, no, Fred, Fred, like, softened the blow somewhere. That'd be cool. But I don't see that happening. Um, all right, my trade-in. Trade these guys in. And it's only a six. What, I could get... 15 up here that's not gonna work I, I don't I don't have a kill on this player um, which is a little bit unfortunate white's kind of sitting on me in the center um, I guess my attack is maybe down into this there no I, I'm gonna go up try to get the zombies to hit orange here. I don't I don't have the kill on on black. It's just not feasible. And I I would actually benefit from being away from portals because if somebody did try to go for a kill on me, uh it's just way diff way more difficult. So black sets in here. He'll survive with a two position game. He's probably learned his lesson, but he's also in two positions and even after his trading of getting two more troops than me is is considerably weaker. Um could lose troops on the zombies here as well. If I had a set on three, I don't have a set on three, but Black's going to be trading in for the rest of the game uh, anytime he gets it, just to, to survive. This, this game is interesting. It's like it's trying to be a balance of, of uh, able to make kills and also not able to be killed. So like Orange, Orange is very localized. If, that f if, the, if he doesn't put anything on this four... Which he should. And he should move this 13 west. And let's see. 7 is... You know, seven's probably enough. He sees I got 7 there. It's, at that point, it's a dice roll on... Or a coin flip on whether or not the zombies, if they place troops there, roll me or him. Um, I would I would start your 13 going west. That's what I would do. And that's what he does. That, I think that's a really smart play. You need to start establishing yourself elsewhere, especially if the portals don't favor your positioning. He does lose a troop on the roll. So Orange is the strongest player right now. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, got some extra troops early on. Got him on stacks. Uh, it's just survived longer. White now trades in. And we don't have a trade on three, which could be devastating. We've got a... We actually have the luck of the portals closing when we don't have a trade. So really our biggest threat's going to be red. And red doesn't have... Um, red has lines on my position down here. And obviously my position in the middle. Um, and obviously one of these two positions. But he'd have to split to get to me. So I think fortifying this position up here is going to be critical. White will finally group up these two stacks. He... he he has not lost this four. Somehow has not lost that four. Pulls it up. Interesting. So I, I want to take the guaranteed roll here and take take this. Um, but yeah, red, red is going to be my biggest threat. For sure. He could go for a kill on me. I feel like the kill on black is significantly more profitable, but he doesn't really have the pathing for it. So until, you know, maybe he opens me up, uh, opens my seven up here to move. But right now he's got, he's got a line up into my eight. He's got a line into my 10, a line into my seven. It's this seven, this is the critical piece that I need to, to, to hold on to right now. Red is sitting on a portal. He trades early. All right. That makes me think he's not going to go for a kill. And the zombies don't hit him over here. Six there. I don't have a set on three. Six here. It's only got three positions. Did he lose a position? Interesting. So this is the bad part is he could still he'll still keep his lines on me. Seventeen here. Um one I'm going to just keep the 8 down here and hope for the best. 
I can move on to the portal. I have access to move on to the portal. I think I want to put two up here. He can attack off this portal. He's still got to hit the 10. Let's go one here. One here. No trade in. Do I go up? I don't want to give him the opportunity to split. I just got to hope for the best here and, and good roll. No, we don't lose anything. All right, I'll sit here. White. Uh, yeah, white doesn't have full. White would have to trade in to try to kill me. Do I have a set on three? I have a set. Or set I got a set on four. That's good. I can. If black doesn't set in, I kill black. How? I, I'm not sure, but if black doesn't set in, we kill black. That's it's as simple as that. I can double tap this stack if I absolutely need to, and if he moves closer to the portal. Boom, boom, boom. He loses one troop on that. No, the zombies will close that gap. Which portal's the easiest to come off of? I mean, I think I gotta go for it, right? I can double, again, can double tap this if I need to. I'll trade in off of it on 25, and maybe white trades in early. Orange trades in early, okay. So this will increase my trades, as long as somebody doesn't try to line up and kill me. Again, I, I think I'm protected. It's going to be down to red. If red... And, and the zombies might open him up to that potential kill. But he's not going to... There's no way he can get the 7 and the 11 by trading in early. I think this just increases my odds of being able to kill black. Because I will set in off of black. I'm the only player in the game who who has lines on black, or some degree of lines on black, that can set in off of that kill. Maybe I even go off uh, eight here. Well, I like orange keeping his lines on red. Here's the benefit, right? Is he is worth 26. If white trades in here, I will... Well, I, I don't know. What, I trade 25? I trade 25... So I need to be able to hit this 13. I'll probably lose a position off of it. And then I'll be on, what, three cards after the kill? After the trade-in? Which is a whole card ahead of everybody except for white. So white could potentially kill me. That's the danger. Can white kill me? And did the zombies make this difficult for me? Any zombie lines on me here? I don't see any. That hits me there. That hits him here. That hits red. So that does open up red to me, but again, I don't think he has that kill. Oh, free portal. Free portal. We go through this portal. We go off of the eight. It's a three and a two. Okay, they they, they shift around. So not not so free. So do we go... This is four, five, four, four, five to a 13. Or, you know, uh, yeah, four, four, five to a 13... Five four eight to the thirteen five four five. The cheapest is going to be four four five. We got to hit three territories regardless. Um, five five five. Yeah. So four four five is going to be our cheapest. What would be nice is if somehow red opened me up, so I don't have to take that additional hit. But oh boy. All right. Yeah, red. Uh... Oh, unless red's doing this to block my kill on black. Is he going to sit on that portal? Force me to go 548 or 555. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to block me from getting the kill. Uh, so I go 555, I guess. That's the cheapest. Um Hang on. 26. This should win. Yep. This win, 98%. There's our bounty. It at least better than last place. Can I kill white off of that? Probably not. Um, 
white is 13, 9, 13, 8. He's got too many positions, I think. I don't have the juice. But if I can position myself... Um, uh, I'm going to stay in South America. I'm going to stay here because Red is down here. Red will lose his position up here. The zombies will open me up here. I don't have a set right now. I'm now a card ahead of everybody. Which could benefit me. I'm two cards ahead of... Or no, I'm a full card ahead of orange. And I'm at, at the beginning of the trade order essentially on red. So full card ahead of orange and, and white. Now actually... 21 here. White, I think, is... The only way I would be able to kill white is if I had a set on three, and I don't have a set on three. If he doesn't trade here. He essentially feeds his game if he tries to kill me. Wow, he doesn't set. That's the, that's the right place to go. He's leaving. That's smart. Wait, actually, no. No, that's... That might actually give me a kill. He's trying to hide himself. Red Red can block this. I would double set killing black or killing white. Um unless red or orange tried to go for it, but I don't think they'd have it. 14 would have to get to this 8. See, I that opens me up. And that also might open me up down here. Yeah. That might have been a misplay. Oh no, I don't have I don't have a pathing to the nine. I don't know, he's gonna live. He's fine. I don't have pathing to the nine. Bummer. Red loses this position up here, so that actually protects me. So now I gotta consider. Red takes a card now. I mean, red's completely spread on the bottom and then up here. Interesting. So... Yeah, I can't get the 13 and the 9. That actually... That play worked for him. I don't... I don't know. I... I don't want to keep lines on on white anymore a one hit into a portal that wouldn't hurt portals down here to kill red um i mean he's got to know i'm trying to keep a line on him hopefully this is a set please be a set yes set on four okay so white could try to kill me but now he's in the similar predicament that I was in where um, I have at least one position that's just kind of split off from him. Orange tries to bury himself. Orange is not my target. If red takes a card here, red dies. If red takes a card and doesn't set on three, if red sets on three, he's fine. He lives. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to go for a kill on one of these players. And I don't know that I even have this. White could White could totally turn the tables of this game here. I mean, he gets, what, 35 troops here? So he, he shoots himself, actually, into the troop lead. Uh, red will get a tr 40 trade if he sets on three. So if red takes a card, he dies. That It's as simple as that. If red takes a card, I'm going to kill him. Because I, I'll have the troops. I can come in off of this portal if I absolutely need to. 19 on 15. I don't really... I'm going to have to stack up here to, to hit the 17. I mean, see, like, White isn't even trying to put lines on me. You know, unless he hits me. No, he's going to sit on a portal. That's a, that's a good play. I like that. I'm also on a portal. Red's not on a portal. Red would have to get on a portal to do anything. 
and I will not be, I won't set anybody in off of a kill. And red's the only one who can even attack me here. So, um, so we keep, we've got a line on red here. So the question becomes, do I just split off of this and try to kill both of these with the same stack? Or do I come through another portal and focus this 15? He could even try to double tap, double tap my stack to keep himself alive. I, I don't know. I don't hate the spot I'm in. I'll set in off of it again. If Orange doesn't have a set on three, I could maybe even snowball into a kill on him on the following turn. Um, here's red on three cards. Does he have a set? Pray in no set. This player dies if he doesn't have a set. We took out Black. Black had some unlucky zombie luck. We still somehow have four positions. These two obviously pretty close to each other, but we got to cut through some zombies to get the 17. That's what's a little iffy about this. Red places up here. That's smart. That's going to be the hardest stack for me to kill. Ooh, I would not have taken a card here. Yeah, that, that is going to be death. sinks it down just to force me to have to split more I guess I'm gonna come off the portal come off the portal and hit him uh 30 20 let's do 29 for now One stack. There's two. There's none. 29 on 20. Got it. And... Boom. Another kill, baby. Let's go. These are the kind of games we needed. Can I kill orange right now? I set in. I definitely kill orange. And just bank on white not having a set. Um. Oh, because this sets me in. We do this one first because this is the riskiest. White would set me in as well. That's a third kill. Oh boy, everybody. I'm getting stressed out here. Um, I don't think I can kill him here. But I can certainly try to take out his, his big positions here. Um, gotta get my, I got to unlock my 14. You know what? No, this is what we're going to do. I got to do that. I, I didn't have the kill. He's, he's too spread out. We don't have a set. But, I don't know. This is a little dicey. I'm ahead of him. We're on the same number of cards. The portal's close. I'll lose these threes, which is a little unfortunate. I took out how big of a stack of 15? It's not terrible. I mean, this game is, it's not one. I got the three bounties, but it's not one because I just wasn't positioned on them. If I could, I had the opportunity to leave some troops behind. I, I could have gone for it, but. And maybe I should have knocked this 16 out of here. I hope he didn't bot out. You, you've got a shot, dude. I don't have a set on three. Yeah, place troops down here. I like that. Remove me completely from the bottom. That's a good play. If I can get this 10 into my big stack, that's what I'll do. Yeah, he's going to completely remove me. That makes sense. Oh, is he going to fortify? He might fortify onto a big stack. 
Takes me out up here. I mean, I'm going to lose that position anyway. I actually think trying to group all of my stuff up is a better use of my time. Um, where does that go? That nine is... That nine could be in jeopardy. Depending on how many troops go down here. My ten should be fine. I think I need to take the nine out of here. He's saying good game. Where are my lines on you, sir? Oh, does he not have a set on four? If he doesn't have a set on four, that's super unfortunate. This comes down here. That's not going to get hit. That'll hit me out of here. I don't have a set, so... I don't think it's over. Unless he doesn't have a set on four, then it's definitely... Probably curtains. Um, I'm not going to lose this three. What did that just hit? That just hit a one. Okay. We attack off the three then. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to try to move my other positions around. I'll leave the ten as bait that he's got to hit, but... If he's got a set on four, he wins. I don't have a set right now. I can't even attack with the three, actually. Oh, you know what? We're going to leave this here. I'm not even going to attack with that. I don't want to lose that. I want I want him to have to hit that. Uh, I don't have a set right now. Let's go up here. Actually, hang on. Do I hit onto the portal? No, I don't want to hit onto the portal in case he has a set. Because if he's got it, I can always get back to this portal. Yeah, I want to get away from the portal. If he's got a... Oh, no, the portals aren't open, though. Portals are not won't be open for him. We head onto the portal. So if he tries to go for the, this is the benefit here is if he tries to go for the kill, he actually has to traverse to get to me. Does he have a set? It doesn't have a set. All right, that's oh he's just okay. Do I have a set? I don't have a set. So him not taking a card there actually hurts him. I can't kill you, dude. I don't have a set. Oh my god. Why did he didn't take a card? Why didn't he take a card? Unless he still has the set. He might still have the set. Um I don't have a set on 4. At this point, I think I just got to I'm just going to hit him. I got to weaken him. I only lose six. That's actually delightful. Um, I'm just going to weaken him as much as I can because now I need to not die. I need to spread myself out here. I... Maybe he's still got a set. No, I mean, he definitely didn't have a set. He should have taken a card. Oh my god, man. He would have won the game if he took a card. Why did you... Why would you skip? You gotta try to win. He must not have had a set. I don't... Otherwise, you win the game there, right? Or at least you try. By the way, the players in this game, I went through the players, the scores of the players, the, the Roma, the black player, had the most. He had 40 points coming into the game. Uh, Cuoco, the red player, had 28. I had 31, so I was in second. Cuoco in third. Doc, uh, Borel uh, was uh, 25, and then Dr. Smith was 24 in the final, final seat. Now he's skipping because he knows I'm just going to kill him, but uh, wow. Um... That's so sad. I feel a little bad for this guy. He just assumed I'd have a set on four. I didn't have a set on four either. Which, honestly, the, the probability of that happening, where I don't have a set on four and the other player doesn't have a set on four, is incredibly low. But uh, I'll take what I can get, I guess. Um, this should be the game. Uh...
What's the fastest path in here? Well, it would be to the six if I can get to the six, but. There's two. There's four. This should be 100%. Um, and then six. Don't lose anything. And that should be it. I think I just have to survive three turns. It shouldn't be very hard. Um, is it just survive three turns? I'm just asking the, the group. Do I have to win? Oh, I didn't realize I was giving him third. Oh, shoot. I wasn't even thinking about it, man. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry. I forgot the zombies counted for placements. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. If you watch this, I'm so sorry. I forgot about that. I didn't even... I mean, you get going make me kill the zombies over the course of the game? I just... I am so... I'm sorry. I feel bad for the guy, but... Um, I feel bad for him, but honestly, the amount of time it was going to take me to take these zombies out. That's my bad. I, I feel bad for him. I am sorry, but it was going to take so long. That was three turns, right? I'll just go one more. And, uh, quit. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off here, everybody. The game is over, right? You just have to survive three turns afterwards. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We got a win in three kills, so I'll take it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Dr. Smith, I'm sorry I didn't give you second place. It's, it's I, Very sorry. I didn't realize that that was something I even could do. I tremendously sorry if you end up watching this, but uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you, right here above my head, the subscribe button in the upper right-hand corner. As always, everybody, I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace!